In the previous video, part one, we actually built the structure as you see it right here. And now we are ready uh, to finish it off by placing the roof on it. Uh, therefore, we'll be using some rafters uh, like this one right here. And what we'll do is we'll do some cutouts over there so it, it fits and locks into place. Uh, the best way to do that is actually to make first a model and then just with a pencil mark it off and then actually cut it out. And once that's completed, we'll place all the rafters on the roof. <clears throat> and then basically, uh, we'll secure them in place with uh, some screws. And then we can do the small wood uh, that will hold the tiles on top of it, which will then be laterally placed. So let's start building. So now that we've made a model, uh, we can now just place it on the other uh, support rafters and just mark it and do the same cutout. So now that we've marked all the rafters for the cutouts, um, we're ready to cut it out and uh, we'll do this with a uh, jigsaw. We've done all the cutouts on the rafters, so now we are kind of ready uh, to place them on the structure and then we'll see uh, how we have to space them. How far away or the spacing in between them depends a bit on the angle of the roof. Uh, a 45 degree angle uh, allows you to place them at around 45 to 50 centimeter separation between them. Uh, it all depends a bit on what kind of tiles you're going to put on the roof. And Okay, I've got them on the roof, now we start spacing them. We will be securing those rafters now with those long screws. So if you're going to place uh, old clay tiles on your roof, you better make sure that they all come from the same roof. Uh, because otherwise they may have all kind of different dimensions and it's going to be very hard uh, to put the rulers at the proper spacing distance to put the clay tiles on. Now I've laid them out and that's the best thing to do that you always at least lay six of them out and make sure that they properly overlap so that you don't have gaps in between them and then you just space the rulers and then you measure from the top to the top and what I measured right here is about 30 centimeters. So I will start nailing them on the rafters at distances of 30 centimeters and then I should have no issue uh, with placing them. Now before the roof tiles will go on it, I will actually hose them down with a high pressure hose uh, so they are nice and clean at the outside and inside. So for the last tile, um, I will have to place the ruler a bit higher or lower. So I'm just going to check uh, where it should be. Now note that the last ruler, I place it on the uh, high side. Um, so it's a little bit higher up than the rest because of the fact that there is no more underlaying tile here. You don't have to do that, but that's something I quite often do. Now you got to make sure when you do the bottom ruler that it's far enough underneath the tile because otherwise when it starts dripping it's going to get wet otherwise. So we've got the rulers on the rafters ready to receive the tiles and now well, what's left are these extensions here that we have to cut off. Uh, those are the surplus wood of the rafters and we'll cut it off right now uh, but first we'll mark it with a level 
so that we have a nice and smooth cut. The roof is ready and I have now laid out the tiles um, in the right amount uh, as what I'm going to need for the roof. Uh, I did measure it out and now I'm going to clean them uh, with some high pressure water and then we flip them over and then we clean them again and then they are ready to go on the roof. Alright, so they are cleaned on one side, so now we flip them over, we do the back side and then we are ready to place them on the roof. The work is done, the towel's on the roof, the dog is tired, I'm tired, and now we are ready for the barbecue. I hope you enjoyed my movie. Keep watching.